Hello everyone, let's continue with NCRT Science Class 8, Chapter 1, Crop Production and Management, Part 2. So, in the last class, we studied the two crop production process which were preparation of soil and sowing. In today's class, we will study the rest of the five crop production process which are adding manure and fertilizer, irrigation, Production from weeds, harvesting, and storage. So, what are manure and fertilizers? The substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. So, manure and fertilizers are substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for healthy growth of the plant. Manures are organic substances which is made from the waste of animals and plants, animals like cows and buffaloes. Fertilizers are made in the factories and are man-made. They are also called as inorganic. For example, urea, ammonium sulfate, NPK, etc. How is manure fertilizer added to the soil? Adding of manure fertilizer is usually done by hand in the villages of India. It is a traditional way of doing it. But now, it is done by tractors and machines in different parts of the world from making it easy and assure that equal amount of manure or fertilizer is added in the farm. As you can see in the picture, the in the first picture, manure is added in the farm and in the second picture, fertilizer is added in the farm. So, why is it important to add manure and fertilizer in the farm? To replenish the soil with nutrients, this process is called as manuring. Second is improper or insufficient manuring result in weak plants. Third is this enriches the soil which in turn helps the plant. Four, adding manure to compacted soil helps loosen the soil. Five, excessive use of fertilizer makes the soil less fertile. The next one is irrigation. So, what is irrigation? The supply of water to crop at different intervals is called irrigation. The time and frequency of irrigation varies from crop to crop, soil to soil, and season to season. So, irrigation is basically uh, adding water to the plants. It, the frequency of irrigation varies from crop to crop, soil to soil, and season to season. How does irrigation happen? The sources of irrigation are wells, tubes, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams, and canals. The various traditional ways are first is moat, which is a pulley system, second is chain pump, third is dhekli, and fourth is rahad, which is the lever system. Modern methods of irrigation are first one of them is sprinkler system this system is more useful on the uneven land where sufficient water is not available the perpendicular pipes having rotating nozzles on top are joined to the main pipeline at regular intervals when water is allowed to flow through the main pipe under pressure with the help of a pump it escapes from the rotating nozzles and spray in the whole farm Second one of them is drip system. In this system, the water falls drop by drop just at the position of the roots. So, it is called drip system. It is the best technique for watering fruit plants, gardens and trees. The system provides water to plants drop by drop. Water is not wasted at all. It is a boon in regions where availability of water is poor. As you can see in the first picture, there is a pipe through which water is allowed to flow under pressure with through a rotating nozzle and that is why the water is being thrown out of the, of the pipe like a sprinkler. The second picture, you can see 
that there are pipes going in between the plants so that water could be provided to them at the position of their roots. This is known as drip system of irrigation. So, why is irrigation so important? First is to meet the water requirements of crops. Second is improve water condition in the soil. Third, the water holding capacity of different type of soils differs in irrigation helps to retain water as and when needed appropriately. Four, it protects from famine. Five, when rainfall is not distributed Spanish Spanishly, irrigation covers all the areas of the field. Six is irrigation water increases the water content of plant fibers, dissolve nutrients and make them available to plants. Next one is protection from weeds. So, what is first of them is weeds. Undesirable plant that may grow naturally along with the crop. So, the plant which are not needed with the crop and, and which are grown naturally are known as weeds. Second is weedicides. Weeds are also controlled by using current chemicals called weedicides. The weeds are removed or destroyed by a chemical called weedicide. So, how is uh, weeds protected? It is done by spraying the weedicide by a sprayer on the farm. It helps in destroying the unwanted plants in the crops. I think you, it is clear for you. So, as you can see in the picture, the farmer is carrying a sprayer at his back and is spraying the weedicides in the farm so that the unwanted plants could get destroyed or removed. So, why is protection from weeds important? First, is to keep weeds and pests from destroying the crops and to add more nutrients to the soil. Second is, weeds may cause a number of issues and may restrict the growth of plants. Weeds, if left unchecked, may compete with other plants for nutrients, space, water and soil, thereby restricting their growth. The next is harvesting. So what is harvesting? The cutting of crop after it is mature is called harvesting. How is harvesting done? Harvesting is in the country either done by manually by sickle or by a machine called harvester. In the harvested crop, the grain need, seed need to be separated from the shaft. This process is called threshing. This is carried out with, with the help of a machine called combine. Farmers with small holdings of the land do the separation of grain and shaft by winnowing. As you can see in the first picture, the farmer is cutting the crops by a sickle. This is known as harvesting. In the second picture, you can see the the crop the farm is getting harvested by a machine. The third picture shows the process of threshing. The the harvested crops are uh, are being smashed on the ground so that it can the seed grains can be. Uh, are removed from them. The second one, the fourth, uh, fourth picture shows thre uh, threshing. As you can see, the farmers are uh, throwing the, the uh, grains from a height so that the winds could carry the lighter uh, seeds without the grain seeds and the heavier seed without the main seeds are put it down. The next is storage. So, what is storage? The storing of crops in warehouses after harvesting is called storage of crops. How is storage done? After harvesting of the crop, the crops which are sensitive and can get spoiled easily are stored in cold storage and crops which do not get spoiled easily are stored in warehouses. From there, they can be sent to markets so that we can buy them. And why is storage so important? To protect them from getting spoiled by storing them in a proper temperature. Second is to provide proper storage facility to farmers for excess or large production. Third, so that 
there is a stock available for whole year according to need and demand. Fourth, to manage the time utilized for production to consumer. Okay, so we have completed with the chapter and let's take a quick recap by a mind map. As you can see, in uh, there is a first one the topic is agriculture. So, agriculture has crops as we studied in the previous video. The crops have two parts. The two types of crops, kharif crops and rabi crops. And the steps are preparation of soil, first of them. So, what is preparation of soil? It is making soil suitable for growing crops. And there are two types of, there, there are two process of doing it first one is plowing and second is tilling plowing and tilling is done by hoe cultivator and plow the second is sowing and sowing is the process of adding seeds it is done by hand sowing or machine sowing the third one is adding manure and fertilizers it is for healthy growth of plants. It is done by tractors or machines. The next is irrigation. It is provide it is the process of providing water to crops. The two types of irrigation are sprinkler irrigation and drip irrigation, which are the modern methods of doing irrigation. The fifth one is protection from weeds. So weeds are the process of destroying weeds from the crops. It is done by spraying weedy sites. Then is harvesting. Harvesting is cutting of crops after ripening. There are two methods, threshing and winnowing. Then, what is threshing? Threshing is separating grain seeds from shaft. It is done by combines. So, next is, last one is storage. It is storing of crops after harvesting. The crops are stored at in the cold storage or in the warehouse. So, thank you for watching this video and the link of this mind map will be given in the description box so till then bye